guys call me Charlton or Ethan Klein? It is Coleman Thompson today. So, in today's video, I will be reacting to some videos. I haven't decided what videos yet, but we're gonna react to some crazy videos, dude. Let's get into the video. I'm sure you were all familiar with TLC's My Strange Addiction. Well, in this one, some girls addicted to something weird. Let's check it out. Well in Ontario. My name is Shannon. That's in I'm Canada. 20 years old. Hi, Shannon. And I'm addicted to drinking gasoline. That's not very healthy if you ask me. I can't go a day without it. Like, I crave it. I need it. I'll wake up, go to the washroom, and drink the gas. If I go out somewhere, I'll put it in a small water bottle. Puts when it in. I fill up what my if other car, people see her drinking I'll that? Put it all over my hand. Disgusting. I do it before I go to bed. It consumes your life. One year ago, Shannon developed a deadly addiction to drinking gasoline. Dead. Since then, she's gone from tasting the toxic liquid on her fingers to taking swigs of it every day. It tastes like sweet and sour, like a tangy sauce. It, it tastes like gas. At first, and then it burns the back of my throat, even though it, it hurts me. As you can see, three bars right here. One, two, three. Okay. And I'm going to put in there the most important things we have learned about Shannon so far, okay? Number one, she drinks gasoline, which is disgusting and is gross and it's not healthy for you, okay? Number two, she's addicted to it and she said it consumes your life. Oh well, yeah, you know it also consumes everything else. You're gonna die. You are, it's literally gonna consume your life because you won't be living anymore. Shannon, you have to stop it. Disgusting. Number three, the most important thing. Shannon is a whammon. Whammon alert, whammon alert. Whammon alert. She is in, she is whammon. Let's get back to the video. <laughs> The can has to be I extremely sure. cold. I make my tongue into What's a I'm bowl so it'll catch it. Or it has to go over crushed ice. So we just spray it over Look at there's mold on her tongue. And then Ew. just eat it from there. Sipping lean with my there's air freshener. There's a feeling freshener. when I eat it, it's a sense of yeah. completion. Like I have found it. That craving is gone. It's okay now. How about you just eat a hamburger oh, or something? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I have two boys. One's eight and one's oh, two. Man. I try not to let my kids see me use the air freshener just because I don't want them to obtain that habit as well. And I know it's not you're, good for me. So I don't want them ashamed. to follow that way. My kids are my all. And if they picked up this habit, that's when I'll stop. <laughs> I work at a furniture store. I use air freshener at work no matter what time. Whether I'm opening the store, closing the store, or finishing up a sale, I will have it there. My employee Evelyn is a rock star at her Sean, job, but has a very strange addiction doing? to air fresheners. So again, we got the three bars, We're talking about the three main topics, and this will probably be the last you see of me in this video. So, yeah, let's talk about it. So look, her name is Evelyn. Number one, her name's Evelyn. Number two, air freshener addiction. She sprays it in her gullet and drinks it and then she puts it in her lean cup and drinks lean with air freshener for a sweeter taste number trace the last thing she is a whammon have you noticed where i'm going with this whammon drink weird things and that is where i'm ending it right here 